So in February 2017 news, Fumika Shimizu joins a religious organization, quits Tokyo Ghoul live action film. What do I think about it? Good for her. I'm atheist, but I'm also an American. Freedom of religion. She don't harm anybody. She's been private about it. She don't shove it in people's faces. The only person making a big deal out of it is media. Like Scientology, so what do I care? If people can believe in God and that Jesus got resurrected from the dead, they can believe in this guy being Jesus too. Like, it doesn't make a difference to me. This has happened multiple times. He's been quiet about it. Nothing bad's been happening about it. It's a pro Japan group. Some people feel strong about that. I doubt any of the people who watch Super Sentai have been from America. And I have concerns over patriotism, but. Reiko Shiba's a patriot too, and uh, she's been pretty good to the audience, so why not? Miku Shimizu was also in Hentai Kamen. I don't remember if she was in the... I think she was in the second one. I don't know if she was in the first one. I'll basically read the art. She had a tweet about it, and then... Les Pro mentioned it. This is a... I mean, it's an organized religious group, at least. They have a public relations group that showed the affiliation February the 12th. Shimizu didn't pr participate in the press conference. It's unknown if she was abducted or anything, so it seems like it's been safe. It says in this article by Garashi that she had been attending religious events since, happy si since childhood for happy science. She actually joined happy science, joined acting to encourage people to join happy science. Her works, however, don't reflect that of Happy Science's vote. And, you know, there could be some sort of brainwashing involved, but there's brainwashing Christianity too. I'm against religion for the most part, or any kind of propaganda, but I'm not going to say one should be better than the other. She didn't like the idea of eating human meat in Tokyo Ghoul. She didn't dislike the idea of being a gravure model and being in swimsuit DVDs. It's very interesting because this religion started around the same time I was born, actually. October 6, 1986. It was certified in Japan as a religious organization March 7, 1991. So it's been certified. They believe in Alcantara, the god of the earth, who is reincarnation of Buddha, Elohim from the Old Testament, even the legend Tree of Life. A lot of people don't believe in science, so a lot of people don't believe in Scientology. I mean, my issues about this are about uh, anti-Korea, anti-China. Paranoia, the idea of increasing Japanese military expansion, nuclear energy, and denial of historical events such as the Nanjing Massacre, which deeply affects me because I'm Chinese. I mean, she was in Kamen Rider Forze, a film and show about a guy who uses a suit that comes out of nowhere and teleports around him so that he can gain powers from space gods to fight people. And she did that job very well. Immersed herself in the world very well. She 
She's creative. She's a little crazy. It was a crazy concept. It was art. It worked. I don't know if she should go back to Forze or... I'm really curious about what the actors think about her movement and if anyone's interviewed the cast about her affiliations aside of the cast. Was she distant? Did she not really associate herself with the crew? Was she very weird? Was she even weirder than Yuki was in real life? Something to think about. Again, if she's like Rengo Chiba, let it go. But if she's like a crazy right-wing Christian, then right-wing Muslim or right-wing any religion, then screw it. Condemn her. Shame. 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 The end.